Seven, an emotional night after nearly two decades, the man who kidnapped, raped, and murdered Jimmy Rice was put to death. A last minute appeal temporarily delayed the planned execution of Juan Carlos Chavez, which did occur just after 8 o'clock this evening. News Channel 5's Michael Williams is live outside the Florida State Prison in Stark for us tonight. Michael? Good evening, Kelly. One less demon perhaps confronts Don Rice tonight, 18 years and five months after he last saw his little boy Jimmy alive. He came here to Florida State Prison tonight with Jimmy's older brother, his other son Ted, to see justice done. Don Rice watched his son's killer die and said Juan Carlos Chavez's actions sealed his own fate. As a result of that choice, he died today. A last minute appeal delayed for two hours Chavez's execution for the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Jimmy Rice, the nine year old boy he grabbed near the child's South Miami Dade School bus stop in 1995. But the U.S. Supreme Court quickly denied a stay based on complaints about lethal injection. Don't kill the child because if you do, people will not forget. They will not forgive. We will hunt you down and we will put you to death. Chavez uttered no final statement but wrote down his final thoughts. He said in part, we men are slow to learn that since none of us is righteous, none of us can pass judgment in another man's sins. Not a single word of remorse from a man who proclaimed himself at peace. Laura Moreno is one of the Orlando area jurors who convicted him in 1998. She witnessed his death. I was expecting to feel a little sad, but I didn't. Instead, I felt um, a little angry that he got to have a simple, peaceful death and just go to sleep. A chapter that needed to close, Don Rice has said of Chavez. Tonight it did, but no closure, he adds, not for a dad robbed of his son. Don Rice could never fill that void, but he did, he said, fulfill a pledge. He had always promised to see justice done. His wife, Claudine, who had also wanted to be here for many years, said she would be died of a heart attack in 2009. Yet another tragedy in the life of Don Rice. He walked away with his oldest son, Ted, this night, saying that at least he had some peace that, in this case, Juan Carlos Chavez paid for the death of a little nine-year-old boy. Reporting live from Florida State Prison, I'm Michael Williams, WPTV News Channel 5. Michael, thank you.